Hunter has popped in. <coughs> Hello. Good morning, Bert. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I just went to the grocery store and picked up stuff to eat for tonight and tomorrow. Nice. Oh, good morning. <laughs> you today? No, he's still in the hospital, but he can oh, hear us. Yeah, no. That's the amazing talk to us today. Okay. No, Patrice. How's the food in the hospital, Eric? hospital that's actually close to where he lives they only do uh, nails and flea baths and he doesn't <laughs> like the food he says oh not bad yeah it can't be good remember when you used to say you can get a steak on an airplane and when you flew Yes, as a matter of fact, <laughs> there was a, an airline here in Canada called Ward Air, and not only did you get a filet mignon steak on your flight, it was served on a china plate <laughs> with a with a, a like cut, actual cutlery where the knife cut through the steak. <laughs> well, that's surprising. It was one of the. It was one of the best. It was one of the best steaks I ever had. It was fun. Well, they don't give knives away because it's a weapon. They yeah. don't do that no more now. No. Well. Let me get your spork. <laughs> Ward Air hasn't been around for a long time either. No, I remember probably Delta. Remember Delta what? used to give. When we, me and my sister used to fight Delta to go visit my dad. Mm hmm. You know, you get meals, you get chicken sandwiches, and yeah, steak. Hello there, and welcome to the game that is PGA Tour. You should be able to get all that stuff. I hope this is uh, going to be an extra good round of golf for you. Looks like we've got a pretty low stakes skins game on the go before. Eric, we playing in Miami now Beach. Let's get down there and have some fun. No, it's Fort Lauderdale. Fort, Fort Lauderdale is the is the Miami Beach Miami Beach for Quebecers. Yeah, yeah, Fort Lauderdale used to be the the hangout spot for. Then Miami right, took over spring break. This one. Fort Lauderdale is where the Yankees just had their spring training. Yeah. I remember going down and playing down there. And Stuff here. I think it was the Expos had their spring training down there too, That's right? right? Yep. Yeah. That was the that was basically it. So everybody from Quebec, where do you go when when, when you when you go on vacation? You went to Fort Lauderdale. Yep. I remember going down there play. It was in the Florida State League, and uh, the Expos just signed this guy. Fuck, what was his name? Left-handed hitter. Big kick to the left. Oh, shit. He either played first base or outfield. Not Walker. Uh, no, no, no. Ready to fire away with he wasn't as big as Walker, here. but he could freaking mash. And I remember him, when they drafted him, man, you know, every the big talk on this guy was, oh, this guy could fucking hit. Oh, shit. What was his name? I'm trying to think what year he got drafted. See, I got drafted in 80. So it had to be in 88. So he got drafted in 88. Could have been their first round draft pick. This one's your third. Okay. Mm -hmm. 80. Let me have a look and see. Let's see what Google's got to say. It might have been 87 or 88. 
I know they drafted him. We brought him to Florida, Florida State League. Terry, no, Terry Francona was drafted in the first round. Tom Gorman. Did he ever make it? Yeah. Um, what was his, uh, what was, um, did you try 87? There's Chuck Booth. Or 89, maybe. Yeah. I, I Googled the 80s. Galarraga? No, not Galarraga. He was American. Matt Stairs? Matt Stairs. Yeah. Das. What round was he drafting? Uh, 1989. So. Yeah. Yeah, 89. So he came to West Palm Beach, and, you know, everybody's the hype on him. I'm like, this guy can freaking hit. And he had that, that open stance. You know, he kind of stood mm -hmm. with his right foot open. You know, he's left-handed. Right. And I'm playing center field. I'm like, I'm like, all right, just bust this guy away. You know, he's he's got that upper stand. He's gonna he's, he's gonna have to reach to get to that outside part of the plate. Well, I guess our pitcher was thinking the same thing. He threw a fucking fastball away, and this fucking guy hit it about 400 feet left field. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So the next time we fucking try to bust him in, because, you know, you're stepping in. Mm -hmm. Yep, hands were quicker in the inside than it was outside. <laughs> well, <laughs> he was born in St. John, New Brunswick. Yeah, in Canada, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. He was Canadian. That's the guy I was trying to tell you about that was Canadian that I played against, and I couldn't remember his name. Okay, yeah. But I knew he was from Canada. Yeah, he finished his second career home runs to Larry Walker for Canadian. Yeah, he could freaking mash, man. Yeah, his career, what was his career? He bat, 262 batting average, 265 home yeah, runs, 899 home runs. I mean, RBIs. I know he got hurt down the stretch, but he was only, he can only play, he can only DH down, I think he plays first base, right? Yeah, they've got him down here as pinch hitter and first base, yeah. right fielder. Yeah, he started out, when he first started out, he was an outfielder. Yeah. And then he started playing first Fairway base. Down. But he was just fucking, he just put somebody like in, I mean, DH if he was on the American League team. But I think he played National League. So he couldn't be H. Right. He must, so he well, he wound pitch, up with yeah. the, the picture of him. He's wearing an Oakland hat. Yeah. And, and I remember him playing with Oakland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's 50, he's 55 years old. 55 years. Yeah, he's 307 days. Nice. Yeah, because he was drafted. I see he was drafted in 85. Second so, um, shot, he, I think he was drafted uh, either college, out of college. Out of high school. Out of high school. Yeah. Yeah, because I got traded the next year in 90, so I knew. Think we're on the but for that, that that Fort Lauderdale no, Stadium is where the Yankees, you know, Babe Ruth. Fingers that's where they used to have their spring training at, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if I told you a story about uh, uh, Willie Mays when he was a kid, and he used to they used to sit over behind the fence and uh, catch the home run balls, Babe mm -hmm. Ruth's home run, BP balls. And then oh, sell them, bring them back in, and sell them to the oh. to the fans. Okay, he's got oh, to the that's funny. Here. I was like, jeez. And then, uh, what was his name? No, it wasn't Willie Mays. It was uh, what's the guy's oh, name? He used to tell all the one. stories. Buck oh. O'Neill. Oh, okay. Left. It was Buck O'Neill. Buck O'Neill told us a story about that. Really? And he said, yeah, and he said that 
he, you know, he heard this All sound right, off right, the bat. Now he goes, and you always knew it was freaking Babe Ruth taking batting practice. Yeah. He said it because it sounded like a fucking cannon coming off the bat. And now let's check the scoreboard. And he said he never heard that sound again until he got he was in Chicago. And he was walking in the tunnel in, in Chicago in the White in the White Sox. And he heard that sound again. He was like, "What the hell?" So he walked out of the tunnel and went from the field and it was Bo Jackson taking batting practice. Wow. And he said, "That's the only two times I ever heard that sound come off a bat. It sounded like a cannon." <laughs> and they've chosen the pitching wedge. So was Bo Jackson? Oh, he was with his, the, with the Royals were in Chicago. Yeah, remember yeah, after yeah. he got hurt, he went to Chicago. Oh, okay. Remember after he hurt his hip? Yeah. The Royals didn't re-sign him, and Chicago signed him. Oh, okay. And his first at back, coming back from injury, he hit a home run. He told his mom he's going to hit a. Well, his mom had just died. Okay. And he went to his mom's grave and said he's going to hit a home run his first at bat. And he hit the home run. And he got the ball back and he put it on her gravestone. They had it implanted in that gravestone the wow. baseball. And this putt is way out there. Best of luck. Well, one of my players is ruled out today, not in our league, but Molster, my best running back against my buddy. He's fucking out. So how did, how did your Leafs finish the game up last night when I went oh, to No, I didn't know they played last <laughs> they night. They were losing 2 nothing. No, uh, well, I'm sure they probably lost 3 nothing. Yeah. I haven't even checked the scores. Break. Just, yeah, just. Oh, let me check the scores. Okay, let's see what the next hole has for us. Let's see. I'm going to pick one. Who did we play last night? Carolina. Yeah, we lost three to two. Well, I hope they cut. I wonder how many one, really one, on one goals. Uh, games the Leafs have lost? Yeah, lot, it had a lot. A lot. There was a lot of overtimes, too. That's what I told you. The fact that they were going to overtime meant they weren't in the driver's seat when the when the when in 60 minutes Well, at the beginning up. of the year, we were, because we were, we were winning overtimes. Well, yeah, I understand, but you shouldn't have to go to overtime. If you're yeah. a good team, you don't need. You, but I mean, you if you're coming back game. to force overtime, oh, this one's yeah. A fair way. I mean, if you're forcing that's, overtime and you're losing, that's, that's the mark. That's the mark. Okay, here we go. Let's Look, the Montreal out. Canadiens. It was seventy. It was a seventy-two game season. They let in fifty-seven goals for the season. They like they shut out the teams and they let one goal in. I mean, it was phenomenal. Oh, yeah, uh, you don't see too the many Leafs are not. Like that, no, you don't see too many time teams like that. But that was a good team. Oh yeah. And did they win the Stanley Cup that year? Oh yeah. And the yeah. year after. <laughs> <laughs> and the year after, yeah, they were. They first of all they fucked over the Los Angeles Kings. One of the best, the best hockey player in the 1970s and 80s will, is going to be Guy Lafleur. Right. Well, Ralph Baxter, I'm uh, sorry, uh, the Montre the general manager of Montreal. Toe Blake traded a guy named Ralph Baxstrom to the Los Angeles Kings for the number one draft pick. And the, number, and the number one draft pick was Guy Lafleur. And then for the next 10 years, at least Guy Lafleur led the Montreal Canadiens everywhere. And Los Angeles wasn't so lucky. No. Well, did they have Gretzky then? Or nope. Gretzky no, that was after. 
No, this is back in 1967. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. So you never fucking trade the number one draft pick. If you, no, no, you, you don't trade the, the number one draft pick. Unless you're getting fucking... If I'm getting... Uh, you got to give me like... Feet to go from here. Like, let's see. What was a trade? Herschel Walker trade. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You, he... Ralph Baxter was no Herschel Walker. He was a third mm. a third line player. Yeah. But I mean like remember the Herschel Walker trade where they fucking no, Dallas no, got no, like no. fucking no. Dallas no, traded the whole fucking this. team from Minnesota kids. to get a Herschel Walker. And all the guys they traded didn't turn out to be any good and Herschel Walker was a Herschel Walker was Herschel Walker, but mm. remember when Mike Ditka traded those five first round draft picks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that oh, didn't yeah. turn out so good. Or I forgot who he traded for. for just I, don't, a, I don't remember a lineman, I think. No, no, it couldn't have been a lineman. It had to be. Or oh, they, they traded him for the first round pick. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Move up. Right. He moved up in the draft, maybe, mm -hmm. and picked a running back. Yeah, probably. Mike Dicka was a bonehead. But they still love him. Well. Looking forward to see what you do here. Sweet. And second shot. I just remember, you know, when uh, I guess Doug Flutie wound up you know, in Chicago after the New England, and Ditka puts him in and won't let him throw the ball. Mm -hmm. The only thing he was allowed to do was hand off the ball. Mm -hmm. And then you look at the career that Flutie had after that. Nah, he traded it. And, yeah, Doug Flutie went somewhere else and became a fucking all pro and. Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, Buffalo. Nice chip. Fantastic. Okay. Second shot for him on this one. There it is. Eric, did you see that, Eric? There you have Eric. It. <laughs> yeah, you Eric, saw I it. got your inner Eric, Eric. I know you saw that, Eric. He's probably jumping up in the hospital bed right now. No, he's he probably dropped in the, the pee bucket. The chef. <laughs> he seems that woohoo. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about you, Eric, when I shot that. Oh god, there's fucking palm trees. I should have laid way back and just hit it over the water from that first palm tree right there and get it through. But those I think those palm trees are gonna be in our way, Jim. Oh well, let me have I should have just laid up right there and just hit it over the water. We gotta get up to there. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't go over the water. So we might be laying up again, cause okay. Oh, uh, you know. Cause those palm trees right there look like they're gonna be in our way to go over go over the water. Okay. Second shot on the yep. uh, You could probably hit it through there. Yeah. You can fit it through with a wood. Eric, you see my nice yacht over there to the right? With my plane coming in and flying in, I'm a little seaplane. Oh yeah. Ooh. Let's see what happens. This is his second. Short right there, Jimmy. Well, I hit it as hard as I could. 
Is the driver going to be enough? Let's see. Oh, looky here. They're going driver off the turf. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Come on. Keep going, keep going. No, that's fine. Just get my other and Eric going. Okay, good luck with this one. You're plugged into this. I remember we, when we were down and playing West Palm Beach. And we're in a hotel. You know, we, they put us up in this nice hotel. Like, damn, they must be. But it was all a, they were having some kind of convention. So it was the only hotel on the left when they booked the rooms. And we were walking through the hallway. And you remember that, that wrestler, Animal Steel? <laughs> he had a bald head. And then he was like, he had his tongue was painted like blue or whatever color it was. He used to stick his tongue out. He was crazy okay. in the ring. Yeah, he come walking down the hallway with a fucking briefcase and a suit on. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, ain't that animal steel? And we went up to him. He was like, hey, you know, he was talking. Hey, how you guys doing? And we're like, aren't you animal steel? He was like, yeah. And we're like, aren't you supposed to be crazy? He goes, nah, man, I'm a freaking lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> But they had that WWE wrestling match there that weekend. 14 footer. And we saw a bunch of wrestlers in the hotel. And we were like, yeah, we're here playing baseball. And they're like, oh, you guys should come to the wrestling match. Oh. We got a day game today, so if we can get tickets. I think a couple guys went, but I didn't go. Didn't. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's go. This one is for par. All right, nicely done. Let's see what your opponent does now. And uh, this putt for his skin. And there we go. And six skins in the pocket of our leader after that one. Hi, Donna. Bert says hi. Hi, Bert. Wow. Wow, how's she feeling? Well, better now. Oh no! Nice. Donna's a, went into Chad mother Chad panic because Chad pocket dialed her at eleven fifteen last Donna night or one fifteen. No. Oh. And then hasn't returned any phone calls since. Oh. Oh yeah, I'll be worried too. Yeah. I'd be worried later, but I mean. Yeah, because he's, he's still sleeping. <laughs> and she finally got a hold of the guy he was with last night, well, that, who, is, who also said that he left at 4.30 in the morning. Which meant he's still in bed. Yeah, he knocked out. Yeah. He turned his ringer off. Yeah. <laughs> or he's passed out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, although he drove home, so I doubt he's passed. Oh, I, yeah. I, I don't think he, he wouldn't have dr driven and, and uh, drank. Right. Uh, yeah, I woke up so pissed because Sydney had told her to make sure she let me know when she got there. Yeah. And then at 2.30 and got the message that she made it. Oh, looking good, looking Ooh. good. Check up, check up, check up. It just, that's all good. Nice, another green and rag. I'm liking it. Jim, you got a normal shirt on. What the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah. I went, that's my Hugo Boss shirt. You look normal. <laughs> you got these, I look normal. You got right. plain <laughs> pants on. <laughs> and a, a nice shirt on. 
There's nothing crazy. No. Coming in for a landing here on the green. Oh my, there's a nice little uh, approach shot. He had that one dialed in. <laughs> Whatever said, not Go, good, boy. Oh, they're moving me from the nice next window room to fifth floor. 50 50 chance of windows oh, aside. Yeah, but the br the breasts on the nurses are larger on the fifth floor. <laughs> and it looks like so. It looks like Bert was driving the golf cart, and it's in the bunker. No, that wasn't me. That was Trump. Oh right. <laughs> You see, uh, somebody went and golfed at Trump's golf course in New Jersey. Okay. Where he got the, where he has his wife buried. All right. Yeah. And they took a picture of his wife's grave. Mm -hmm. The freaking grass around his wife's grave is like overgrown. Like yeah. you can barely see her fucking grave. I'm like, well, that should actually be something his children should give a fuck about. Yeah. Fairway, and think. I'm like, well, they should have gave a fuck when they fucking he decided to bury it there. No, let's see what you got. Well, I'm sure he hmm. got a discount for this. Probably, probably got a tax. Well, he did. He yeah. did. He, that's what he did it for, because he was gonna turn into a fucking graveyard. But fuck it, you don't have a graveyard. We only got one person buried there, and he got well. a fucking tax deduction. Well, it doesn't mean you can't put future people there. Yeah, I'm sure. Who the hell is going to bear there? Well, there's a list of people I know he'd like to bury there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll that. Yeah, bury his ass eighth, there. Shot on the eighth. So I can go piss on it. That would be that would be a kind of a nice <laughs> walk. There, there's a bucket list. <laughs> Scratch this one down. When he's dead, I'm going to piss on his grave. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you see that guy Dallas game last night? See how it ended? I didn't, but I have been reading about it. And... Oh my god, that was the fucking worst call. Cause they're in Dallas. Jerry Jones fucking paid them motherfuckers off. But if you look at the replay, the fucking offensive lineman he went up to the referee, told him I'm eligible. Well, no, 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 no. The guy that came in, what wasn't he was the it was a number sixty eight came in. Walked up to him to tell him that he's he's eligible. Okay. And then the referee saw the other guy running in, and then automatically didn't listen to sixty-eight, and just made the decision that seventy was going to be the ineligible player. But sixty-eight went up to him because you can see uh, mm -hmm. the quarterback told sixty-eight to hey go up to the ref and tell him that you're eligible. He was walking up to him. The ref never looked at him. He looked at the guy running in, and then went up and said. Oh, eligible receiver coming in, number 70. Okay. But 70 never got to him to tell him. 68 walked up to him, and he just didn't even look at him, just walked right by him, and then just imagined that 70 was going to be an eligible player. And... <clears throat> so throw to, the play goes to 68? 68, he catches a touchdown, and they go, ineligible receiver. And they were like... No. They're like, 68 was eligible because he was coming up to you to tell you. And he just walked away from him. Because mm. if you look at the video, the ref never looked at 68. He just looked, they saw 70 running in towards him. And he just assumed that he was going to be eligible instead of right. waiting. Because mm -hmm. uh, 70 never even got to him to tell him anything. Okay, so yeah, I got it. So sixty-eight tells him I'm in, and they he looks over. And well, sees sixty-eight seven. was already he was already in the game, right? And but so they knew they they knew they ran this play before, so they they knew ahead of time. So 
and you can see they had they showed the huddle, and the quarterback told CJ, "Hey, go up to the ref, tell him you're eligible." And he walked out the huddle, was going to the ref. He was about two feet away from him, and he was trying to tell him. The ref never looked at him. He looked at seventy were coming on the field, and he just ran off, and then went up to make the call. And uh, <clears throat> I'm like. See, calls like that, ref should be fucking fine. You gotta figure. Yeah. I mean, that's... That <coughs> makes a big difference. Yeah. yeah. And then the flag didn't come out to fucking... After they were on the fucking sideline celebrating. And then you see this late flag. And I'm like, what the hell? So good, so good. And then in the Lakers game last night, they were down by three. LeBron goes down and hits a fucking three to tie it with 2.2 2 seconds left on the clock. So they, the guy said it was a two, and they reviewed it, and they even zoomed in on the foot, and it was like an inch. His foot was like an inch away from the line. You can see that it was a three. And uh, the call center said, no, it's a two. And, and the, they even had it on the screen, and all the Lakers went up to him and was pointing, look, 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 you can see the space in between. And even some of the Minnesota players walked over and just started laughing. And LeBron said, yeah, somebody at the call center was eating a fucking ham sandwich or something and wasn't paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> see that uh, Detroit... Uh... Broke their losing streak last night. Oh yeah, the basketball team. Yeah. With the seven Jesus, that's, that's, how the hell do you lose that many games in basketball? Okay, let's see what you got here. How do you how do you lose the game to a team that's lost that many games? No. In, no. <laughs> yesterday morning, okay, like I didn't know that Detroit was on that much of a losing streak. And they said something on the on the news. <clears throat> the Raptors should have a good should have a chance at winning today because you know blah blah blah. All right. Oh, so Toronto lost to them. Toronto lost to them, like one twenty nine, one twenty seven, or something. Oh wow. Hopefully this one will bounce to the right. Good work there. Great shot on the approach. And a 15-footer for him. Is this downhill? I guess after the break it's going to be down here. Uh, hit the pin. And that'll drop for birdie. All right, you need this putt to carry the hole. Eric, did you get a window, a window room? I don't know if he's there yet. Oh, Lord, I had a lot of brick in it. Let's see, active. Kamara's active. He's not, let's see. Josh Jacobs is not active. So I don't have to take out Camara. He's active. What about my other running back? They don't have him on there. Moster is out. Josh Jacobs out. You have Josh Jacobs, don't you? I do, but I think I've already taken him out. Oh, where the hell's the pin at? Left. Oh, 441 out. You gotta go over to fucking swimming pools. Don't get behind that tree. All right, let's go. Let's launch this one out there. Uh, Devin, I'm going to play Oregon that day. Okay. So we got 2 o'clock. So go down there. Oh, awesome. This is the first game of the... You know, that's the rival. Mm-hmm. And then they go to California. So, 
We get Riley Monday because Devin leaves Wednesday to go to L.A. Good shot. We're about 205 yards out from here. Oh, you might be in a better spot than me. Yeah, I might. Hmm. You know, you still got to go around the tree, though. Should be able to get up over it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get a, the right angle with the pin. The plane's coming right over your head. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got your head, motherfucker. You gotta bounce to the left. Oh. Mm -hmm. Chipping range. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I just under, I under hit it, so it's. Said he's waiting for transport. <laughs> yeah, patrol is dying already. We haven't even played around yet. I had this charge all night. Yeah. Oh, Gary, that that controller's done. Yeah. Well, he's got a long pot to deal with here. Let's see what happens. I just got a happy new year from my one of my grandsons. What is it? I just got a happy new wait, my one of my grandsons just wished me a happy new year. Mm, nice. Yeah. And that will drop. Yeah, he's uh, How old is he? I think he's 23. Oh, yeah. That, Maybe 24. Oh, yeah. Yep. Huh. So, yesterday we went to Home Depot to get a garage door opener. Yeah. Yeah. There's a green way over here. It's par five. Yeah. Oh, I see that. And I also see cart path. Go, oh. go, 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 get it. It's there. Oh, oh no. no! Don't settle. Oh. Okay. Ooh, I don't know that I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And I hit it short too. I didn't hit it full. Why well, I hit it full? It would have been perfect. God. They got to give me a club link. <clears throat> from that wall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, you're buying that house. Get behind you're that the house. house. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta give me so a club linked at least. Yeah, you might have to bounce it off that wall. I'm gonna have to. Backwards. Could I put it off the wall? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think it went. Oh, it didn't go. In the fairway. Oh, where'd it go? It's in, oh. it's in the clubhouse. <laughs> Jeez.
Boston's heading to a bad place, I think. Go in the pool. We're in the big, thick, deep rough here. Yep, this hole is over. <laughs> Come on, kick left. I need you to put at least three times. Well, that's not beyond the <laughs> I've seen that happen before. <laughs> Rubik's Cube house over there. Okay, third shot. Okay, just let well just done. let Jim put. Here's his uh, six foot putt. Double bogey. I've seen too many double Some bogeys putt. in the last week. Well played. Yeah, I only played the. I don't. I never even finished that. Championship. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm not having fun playing the, those tournaments. I, I mean, I don't mind the settings. Down there. It's I don't like the courses the guy chooses. Yeah, I mean he does. He chooses. He chooses a hard one, then he comes back with an easy one. Yeah. And then like kind of hard. I mean I don't mind. You know what I, mean? I know I'm not gonna win, but I was surprised. Oh, you've won a couple. Fucking, yeah, I'm surprised that one guy. He fucking what did he shoot a fucking. Forty something on that fucking course. I'm like, was oh, that right? Thirty something under. I'm like, how the fuck Fine. you do that on that Tee course? Here. And let's see how this hole goes down for him. I'm, I'm guessing he is very accurate with his with his approach shots. Cause... Oh yeah, you have to be. Our second shot on the twelfth. What the fuck would they say the guy's not available? No. Oh, the other running back is out too. Freeman. <laughs> Foreman? Foreman. Healthy scratch for the Falcons. It's inactive. So you Why? better put heel you better put you got heel and brown on the bench. Yeah. Okay. Fingers crossed. Pitching shot, pitch shot, pitch shot. Come on, get down on that green. Yep, shot. out of the top shelf. Good work. Thank you. And here's his second shot. Shots coming in nicely. There we go. Good. And this is about four feet. So far, so good. Nice putt. That's your fourth birdie of the day. And that one will go for birdie. Now we get to take a look.
look at the scoreboard as we head to the next hole of skins. And as we tee off here, we got two skins on the line this hole. Mm, we're getting over the airport. Hmm. There's a plane coming in the land. Mm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go down in that little gully. Oh, it's coming out. Oh. <laughs> it's staying down there. <laughs> <laughs> that might be worse than the wall. Maybe. Where the hell is the flag at? Left. It's over top of that big blob that I'm in. Oh. I'm gonna hit this airplane. Second shot. I thought it was going to bounce. <laughs> Ooh, Can you even get out of there? There you go. Oh, don't go underneath that bridge. <laughs> Came out. I thought the second bounce was the first bounce was going to hit. The... <laughs> All right, let's see if the sparks fly here from the cart path. I thought it was going to get under there and keep bouncing like a super ball. <laughs> Here's his second shot. Look at that roll, roll, stop, roll. Stop. Fuck. I hit that so short too. Setting up his third shot here. Nice to save par here. Oh, that's a nasty break there. That's mm. Coming back. I blame the ball. That was a good putt overall. Just uh, didn't really drop when he needed it to. And with that, he's going to win this hole. 12 skins on the board for our leader after that one.
too long. Oh yeah, this one's heading for the green. Oh, let's see what you can do on this one. <laughs> heading for it. Nice shot. Thank you. Well, that'll work on the green, won't it? Setting up for a birdie here. And a nice putt. Well, you need to sink this one if you want to carry the hole. This one's tracking. There's a way to bounce back. Birdie on this one after bogeying the last. I like it. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. There, uh, uh, DeAndre Swift, the running back for the Eagles. <laughs> he always gets tackled on the one yard line. <laughs> and so I was listening to the podcast of um, uh, what's the name? Uh, the Brothers. Oh, Kelsey. Kelsey and Jason was talking about. He goes, DeAndre Swift got to stop going out in one yard line because you know what play we're going to run next. <laughs> so you don't get no <laughs> rushing touchdowns because they always do quarterback sneak. He said, you need to go down on like the two or three yard line because <laughs> you go down on the one yard line. You know what's coming next. <laughs> All right, let's send it. He said, I feel bad for him. I'm like, well, at least you can give him one chance to fucking run it in from the one. You know, since well, he did all the work to get you down there. Now, those of us who have Jalen Hurts as a quarterback in the league, <laughs> I, I don't really have that much of a problem with it. No. <laughs> Do you have Hurts? Yeah, my, I'm in another one other Yahoo league. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably loving it. Yeah. don't think the rest of my team is uh, I've lost last week so I'm in the the battle for the bronze game or whatever they call it this one's gonna get sandy oh no okay setting up around 250 yards or so Let's just find golf playing there. That's uh, on the green in under regulation. Well done. Let's see if he can get up and down from this sand. So did you see that big white spy satellite that was flying over the states like a year ago? When they shot down. Yeah, the balloon. Yeah, the balloon. So do you know what it was doing? What? It right, was listening to whatever it could, collecting the information. And then they didn't say which carrier, but I'm going to say Verizon, for example. Then they were using the, their Verizon account to send the information through back to China. Mm. So they were spying. Oh, yeah. that hole. Awesome job. That's of course evil. they were. And I'm sure they spying on my Verizon calls. Yeah. I don't know if it was Verizon, but because they didn't name the carrier, but they did say it was a U.S. carrier that they were using them to... One. 
Eric's got a new view. <laughs> He's got some oh, food. that's his meal. That looks like chicken on rice. Mm-hmm. That looks yeah. good. Yeah. Got some fruit. I know. Some milk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got an orange juice. That's a cookie or a muffin. A bowl of soup. Some fruit. You got milk, huh? Where's the orange juice at? The little f cup with the white, the white cup with the foil on top of it. Oh, that's orange juice. I think that's juice, yeah. Now they took two of those instead of the milk. <laughs> Oops, someone's feeling bold. This is nice. Well, mm -hmm. hey, I, 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 I'm not. I'm gonna. Eric will laugh at this because he lives in a dairy producing province, not an orange producing province. <laughs> No. <laughs> milk and cheese, milk, cheese, and electricity. Those are the those are the uh, the nat or the uh, natural resources of Quebec. Okay, he's setting up a second shot here. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd laugh. <laughs> All right, this putt for the skin. So the big wave hit Oregon too, Bert. What big wave? The big wave that hit California. No, I didn't see. I didn't see yeah, no, I, there was a big wave that hit California, with, and um, it, when I read about it, it said that it hit, was it hit the Oregon coast as well. So yeah, it must have been an earthquake or something in the water, and that happened. Pot, uh, like, yeah, uh, that makes sense. Last year, mm -hmm. I think, and then yeah, some of the the beach cities in California got flooded. The waves came up. Yeah, and it hit Oregon too because. That's when everybody was out looking at the waves to see how big mm -hmm. the wave was going to be. I'm yeah. like, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'd be out there waiting, looking for a fucking wave to come up. No. Yeah, they closed the, it wasn't the Santa Monica Pier, but it was one of the piers that, you know, like, yeah. Jump, yeah, they had to close that to keep people from being out there. Because, you know, the surfers wanted to go out there and surf. <laughs> <laughs> of course they did. Yeah, when there's a whenever there's an earthquake in the in the ocean that happens. Looking good. Maybe one too many putts for my liking on this one, but hey, we got the par. Let's get out of here. All right, he's won this hole. Look at the car up on the building. <laughs> it crashed the into the helicopter. Oh, that was a jump. He was going off a jump. Yeah. <laughs> he hit the helicopter. <laughs> Oh Whoa. God! There's oh, a helicopter goodness. again. <laughs> Jesus, are you kidding me? How far down is this shot? Two hundred twenty-six feet down. Oh no! Oh no! Hmm. Oh, you're oh. good. Oh, it went further than I, than I thought it was going to be. Did you hit driver? Okay, let's see what you can no, do. I hit the six iron or five okay. iron, whatever they gave me. Oh, I see. Yes, it says that my five iron will go 408 feet. And I definitely don't want to just do a Greg and shoot, try and hit the helicopter. But when it was going down, it looked like it was going to be short. Yeah. It's got that look to me too. Looks like it's coming. Oh, better go. You better go. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's like it just picked up speed or something when it was coming down. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, time to get on out of this dirty old bunker. All right.
right, on to the green. No worries from here on out, right? And this will be its second shot. the pin that's good okay we could save par here with this putt this putt's good so far all right in the cup for the par and he's got around four feet to go here And the par putt drops. Well, no one uh, won that hole, so we're carrying things. Well, you know what? If we tie, we're going to have to come back to this hole again, huh? <laughs> 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 Fuck! <coughs> That's true. Quite sure where this will end up. Okay, let's send it. Drives looking good. Here's our second shot on the 18th. That was good. All right, he's getting ready to fire away with his second shot. All right, here we go. This one for the bird. <coughs> oh. mm. He's got about eight feet to the cup. Oh, cool. Break. Oh, oh, good pot. I think that was going to break. Back to the rooftop. We're going to no, take a helicopter. Oh, I thought we tied. No, no, you beat I, did... I took I... an extra I... shot there. Oh, much. did you? I thought yeah. you made it on the green on your first shot. No. No, I laid up on my first shot. <sighs> oh. Okay, good game, Bert. Good game, Jim. All right, Thank well, you, you. And, Eric, you, and, you have a good day. Enjoy your lunch. Bon appetit. Uh, go state. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I believe that's how it's said. <laughs> All right. We'll have fun and I'll have a happy new year. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Bye. Bye.